Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and this is a really awesome journey. I'm glad that I have like, I don't know, there's just like so much content to create on this subject and maybe it's just because I'm so used to it because I did it for three years. But in today's video, I am going to be braiding my starter locks. I've been wanting to do this for a while and it's going to be pretty interesting to see how it looks. The biggest reason why I'm doing braids is because it's going to hold my locks a little bit better in place. Just because they're so immature and they're not, you know, locked up whatsoever i want them to stay in a position for quite a while this is the same as doing you know a braid out and then allowing it to lock up or doing two strand twist and allowing the two strand twist to lock up this is the same exact thing but i already started out the initial locking process today i actually did a retwist myself just because um it was unraveling a bit and i also did an acv rinse right before i twisted my hair and then now Candice is going to braid it so that it can hold in very well we got candace right here hello hi so i'm looking forward to braiding my hair we're going to braid it really quickly we're going to actually do four box braids and i think it's going to work out really well i think it's going to be pretty easy yeah for sure yeah cool i'm gonna take my glasses off because i ain't trying to get them dirty i'm just trying to figure out your sections yeah I, I fixed that one in the back a little bit as best as I possibly could. Little update, I'll go ahead and do just kind of like a dreadlock update right here. Today I woke up and I was about to shoot videos for Great Locks and my hair was super dry and my scalp was super dry and it like had build up on my scalp and my scalp was flaky. So my hair was not used to being in, in dreadlocks or you know not being washed. Even though it was only four days that I had them or didn't wash my hair my scalp was like reacting so different and I'm just not used to that because it's already been I don't know three or four I would say even yeah probably like three or four months since I've been outside of dreadlocks so it was interesting to me and it was new to me seeing that um I had you know build up or a dry scalp so I was like you know I'm gonna handle that so I did an ACB rinse and that video was actually really cool to make just because I wasn't sure if the hair was gonna stay in but then that kind of goes along with um me swimming with my hair so I've already done a bunch with my hair being in starter locks, I went swimming, I did ACB rinse, I did two retwists, um, and I'm not retwisting very heavy, I'm doing it very light handed, just because I'm not trying to irritate my scalp, and then, because what happens if, if you have a lot of tension on your scalp, your, your, what do you call it, your follicles, or your pores on your head, you can call them pores on your head, right? Mm -hmm. If I want to? Mm -hmm. Cool. Those will get inflamed, and then, you know, if any of those hair follicles get inflamed, you can result in hair loss just because it kind of just like i would say like suffocates your hair too much manipulation yeah too much manipulation and then now i'm braiding it for the first time so i've already done like four things that i didn't Take care do these little things are out no, i don't mind braid it more and down. that's fine that'll be okay but like i said i'm already doing f i've already done four things that i didn't even do like maybe i would say two months into starting my dreadlocks the first time and this has only been, you know, under a week. And I'm super glad how they're holding up really well. This is the first braid. Looks pretty cool. Uh, I'm twisting them a little bit before I braid it. Yeah, that's actually good. So like she said, she's actually twisting the hair before she's braiding it. And that's what you want to do because you don't want the braid to be in there. Or you don't want the, be, you don't want the starter lock to be in the braid, you know, loose. Because then it's not going to really do you any good. You want it to be pretty tight and one thing that I would recommend is actually after doing the retwist braid the hair immediately after the retwist and I would recommend doing you know just three of the starter locks into one braid versus how we're doing it right now are you doing you because you're doing multiple not just yeah. three yeah but I'm pairing them up so like this one has six of them yeah so I'm putting two together two together two together yeah so that's good but I'm twisting them all individually I would recommend you guys to do just three starter locks per each braid just because it'll hold a whole lot better and when you do the unbraiding process it'll be a lot easier on the hair and make sure that it stays in but yeah i think the biggest thing is like how i mentioned how my hair was super dry and my scalp was super dry that like shook me big time because my hair hasn't been like that in such a long time but handled that today with an acv rinse watch that video because it was actually really cool to make like i said I also today, like I said, did a retwist, but I did a rev review on the Jamaican Mango and Lime Locking Gel, which is on GreatLocks.com, and that's my favorite. You can go watch that. Uh, you can go watch that review. I'll link both of those videos down below, and um, I think it'll help you a whole lot, especially with starting your dreadlocks. And I think it's really nice now in the position that I am. 
uh, because when I started my dreadlocks the first time, I didn't start filming the process until five months in. So I missed basically the crucial parts of the locking process. So I didn't get to, you know, document any of that or do tutorials. I was just learning that whole five months on how to handle everything. And then on that five month, I did an interlocking video. And so I started out, uh, like, basically giving tutorials on interlocking and saying that that was the best method, which now I look back and say that's not really the best method to choose just because it doesn't give your dreadlocks a natural look. They look more like braids and it's eventually like to where I came to where I uh, brushed them out or combed them out. It's tougher to comb out a, an interlock. So if you interlock your hair, you're most likely going to want to cut your hair after you're kind of done with your dreadlocks. So there's a lot to come into. So there's a lot to think about when it comes down to the method that you choose. And one thing that I have been mentioning lately is it's really nice to actually stick to one method and keep doing that method versus, you know, starting with twisting with gel and then going straight to crochet hooking or, you know, going to back combing or palm rolling or anything or any other method. Um, it's nice to just stick with one and see how that turns out because I can say from looking at my hair today versus when I started them they're definitely maturing quicker than I expected them to. So it's cool to see the whole process and how quick it actually takes place, especially with my hair length. Because in my mind, I thought it would be tougher to actually lock up hair or start dreadlocks with longer hair. But it's actually, what I, from, from what I'm seeing, a little easier and a little quicker. So it's really cool. And I think we're on the last braid, so this is actually really quick. And hopefully it looks good. I was really hoping for two braids because what we're doing today on the on the Great Family YouTube channel is we're letting Instagram decide what we're doing today. So I, we put on there, should I get two braids or four braids? Now, first off, I didn't want to do four cornrows just because I don't really like the way that looks. I wanted to do just two braids back, but everyone voted for four braids. And I'm like, dude, come on. I even told people, hey, go vote for two braids. But this is what it came out with. And... I'm sure it looks fine. I like doing the four box braids, but I really preferred the two braids back. So that's what I would have been wearing if Instagram would have voted according to what I wanted. <laughs> but I guess that's the whole purpose of the video. Yeah. Um, we actually just started that video. We only got through the outfit and the hairstyle. Candice did her makeup, and then now we're about to... We actually have Juju over, which is Kellen's friend. We're about to go cover all of their stuff, and then we're going to continue the rest of the day and I think wrapping up these braids right now and I'm gonna put my glasses on and go look and see what this looks like how do I look look okay yeah that's good cool does that it really just really cool because it adds like a bunch of texture to the braids oh, okay oh this does look nice yeah this looks clean I'm actually surprised looks good <laughs> it is interesting with these at the bottom but yeah. I think it actually looks really cool Party at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm actually stoked. Yeah, it looks good. See, not bad, Instagram. Not bad. But I just wanted to attach to this that I'm super stoked on this new journey of this new series that we're doing. It is a whole bunch of fun. I'm learning a whole bunch along the way and how my hair actually is when it comes into, you know, actually doing twisting with gel locks. So it's a cool process. But we're going to continue this video that we're doing on the Great Family channel. And All right, guys. It's been three days, three or four days since the last time you guys saw me. And I have the shower on yet, you guys can hear. I'll actually close this because it's really loud. But I'm actually going to wash my hair while it's in braids like this. I still have the four braids in. And my hair is so, or like my scalp is so itchy. So I'm like, dang, is my scalp just really not used to this? Maybe it's uh, not used to like, I guess, leaving product in my hair. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and wash out because I did a retwist I think two days ago or it was actually three days ago yeah so it was three days ago um, I'm doing a ret or I did a retwist so I think leaving the product in my hair for such a long time kind of just irritates my scalp not like irritates like inflammatory infl uh, irritates but like my scalp gets dry and itchy and this is like kind of the life of you know getting dreadlocks just because you can't like really focus on washing your hair all the time like after you they're matured and everything like that like everything's okay to wash but i'm just gonna wash them because yeah i'm not like i'm not the type of person to be like uncomfortable with my hairstyle 
So if washing it is going to mess it up, and it's like I'd much rather have clean hair and a clean scalp versus, um, you know, just allowing build up to build, build up, basically. Because if I scratch my head, or, or like even if I lightly scratch my scalp where it's itchy, like there's build up in my fingernails. So I'm going to handle that today. And I mean, it's as easy as just like, you know, just, you know, scrubbing my scalp with the pads of my fingers. I'm not going to use my fingernails because I don't want to destruct anything that is there. And uh, looks pretty funny with this, you know, like the four braids on top because it's actually kind of cool though, I guess. Looks kind of, I guess like an Angelica doll or whatever you would call it. <laughs> I think I'm also probably going to give myself a lineup today as well. And I don't know, I just feel dirty because like when my scalp is dirty, I just feel completely dirty. So I think after I get my, um, you know, scalp, you know, a nice massage with the shampoo, it should feel good. And we'll see what my hair looks like afterwards, see if it, you know, a lot of hair comes out, anything like that, out of the dreads. But everything feels good. I might unbraid these today, depending on how it looks after the shower, but it's hard telling. So we'll go shower really quick, and then I'll update you guys right afterwards. Okay, guys, this is after the shower. My hair seems super long right now. That's how it always goes after showering. But besides that, my hair feels really good. My scalp feels like I can breathe again. Like the number one thing I don't like about, you know, ha well, I wouldn't say about having long hair, but the number one, one of the number one things that I don't like is having like super build up on my scalp because of the fact that I went through the whole dreadlocking process before and I had a bunch of build up when I combed them out. So going through that whole process and then combing them out and, see much, and then seeing how much buildup I had, it's just like, it wasn't a whole bunch of fun. But I'm feeling good. They stayed in really well. I think it's easy to actually wash your hair with your hair like this. I was actually able to go in and like scrub a little bit with my fingernails versus just scrubbing with the pads of my fingers just because it wasn't doing that much of work. And um, I honestly feel like it was a little bit less destructive using my fingernails versus the pads of my fingers. It just depends on how you do it and personal preference when it comes to stuff like that. But, um, like I said, really glad that I washed my hair. I just used regular shampoo, not, you know, Dr. Bonner's or anything like that. I just used, you know, the shampoo that I like to use. So you can use any shampoo that you would like. But if you do have buildup and you're trying to get rid of it, the number one thing I would recommend, since I didn't have that bad of buildup, I didn't really use the shampoo. But I used to use it all the time. This was my daily shampoo, or this was my weekly shampoo back when I had dreadlocks, and that was the Neutrogena T Cell. Uh, is it T Cell Gel or something like that? T Cell. T Cell. T Cell. T Cell and T Gel. And there's T Gel. But I use a T. It's T Cell, right? T S A L. S A L. Yeah. So I use a T Cell, and then uh, the T Gel is the clear one, right? But I used, yeah. so I used T-Gel then. Okay, then yeah, I used T-Gel. So I used T-Gel, which is the darker one, and it works really well. Um, but that's like the more strong formula is, is what you'd use if you have like really bad buildup or, you know, a really dry scalp or anything like that. And I would recommend, you know, if you have starter locks or dreadlocks in general, use the T-Sal uh, just because it doesn't have that strong of a scent to it because the T-Gel is actually like a really strong and it's not that pleasing of a scent but I would recommend using either one depending on you know how your scalp is and how your scalp reacts to you know products or shampoos but I will say the biggest difference is that the tea gel is stronger and the scent is way stronger versus the tea sal yeah it's a little thicker too it's tar based. yeah it's like tar like you even smell the tar yeah. but but it, it works it helps out a whole bunch just make sure you rinse it out it rinses out very easy as well but you guys, that's today's video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. I am super glad that I washed my hair today. But other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Hopefully you guys do have an amazing day. Matter of fact, have a great day. Peace out and God bless.